Hello, it's Jason Payne with JDP Realty Group, a Cole Banker, Dan Harper Realtors. Well, today I'm out at Kinder Ranch in Bulverde, Texas, because the house behind me, my client closes on it this Friday, and I want to do this one last realtor follow-up tour for him, just so we can have a keepsake, maybe even be able to share the video with his friends and family. So uh, it's built by David Weekly, and it's a beautiful home. Let's go check it out. I really like this community Kinder Ranch for its location. I've done a Realtor Rides tour of it, and man, have things changed in this community since I first came out here. Um, I, I think it's about a year and a half ago I had a client actually get one of these two front lots in front of me under contract with Imagine Homes, and she was going to build a beautiful house. And then once COVID hit, uh, she's like, I'm going to stay in the LA area and just kind of ride it out and see what happens. It's going to turn out to be not so great decisions because man prices have changed dramatically since then and you're not going to be able to get your buying power is not the same as it was a year and a half ago. Anyways, uh, oh one more little thing about this community, what makes it unique is it has an elementary school, middle school, and high school all in this community. We're a little further north up to Highway 281. However, that's not going to be as big a deal real soon because they are working on the highway and making it a lot more accessible to get to all the shopping and dining. And I've heard a rumor, it's just a rumor, I cannot confirm that they're going to be building an Evo and what's well, a high-end movie theater and bowling alley and games place and shopping area all just kind of right across the street from where this community is at. So it is up and coming and uh, I really like this location. All right, let's go and check out the inside of this house. Before we go inside, I do want to shout out. It's going to have a beautiful three car garage on this house. Love the entryway. And there's some topography on this house, so uh, it does go from slope from the front, I means back to the front. But you're going to have some nice place to have a little table and chairs out here to sit. All of this area you see, they just flanced, they just uh, put sod down. These trees are part of this property. It's an irregular shaped property, so you're gonna have some big yard space on the side and in the front here. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be really nice, but it is a little slopey. But this is gonna be your view from uh, your front porch. And now as I'm filming this, we are early June, 2021. I love the door they picked out. All right, let's head on inside. The doors, the floor is a little dirty because they still need to come in and clean. We did our builder walkthrough just recently, so we can still see our footprints. The uh, office is right up front. It's gonna have some French doors on it. Just really nice little office space. The flooring is a luxury vinyl plank. Very, very pet resistant. No transitions going from room to room. Scratch resistant, water resistant. A lot of nice features using a good quality luxury vinyl plank. So you do have your powder room right up front. Before we show the whole living area, I do want to show the little mud room section. Perfect for putting your shoes, backpacks for the kiddos. A good size uh, utility closet. Nothing special there. But what is special is having this big three car garage. So this is gonna be really nice. All right, now to the Main living area, checking out this kitchen. My clients did buy this house as an inventory home. David Weekly likes to call them QMIs for quick move-ins. So David Weekly's, uh, they've already picked out all these designs. So you can tell everything goes really well together. You do have the white cabinets, the upgraded granite, the lights, all this was already picked out for my clients purchased this house because when they purchased it, it was just in framing stage. It does have the dual ovens and okay size closet. I would not say that it is a big closet, but it also depends on how big your family is. 
Kinder Ranch is a gas community. Very, very important to some folks. And they do have a beautiful, check out that faucet right there. That's a, that's a pretty fancy faucet. Single bay sink. They use, what type of appliances are these now? GE appliances. But check out the main living space. Opens up to where your breakfast nook is at with some nice lighting features that kind of tie into the kitchen. And then goes up to the high ceiling. Very nice. All right, speaking of going up, let's check out the upstairs area. We do have three bedrooms upstairs and a loft slash flex space, whatever you want to do with it. A little media space. You do have the extra can lighting in here. Good spot for putting a TV. Or you can do whatever you want to with this extra space. Have the kids beat themselves up up there. It's nice. But then the three bedrooms, and these are good sized bedrooms, just checking them out. <clears throat> now they've kept with a builder's grade light up there, which I always recommend to folks because builders will charge an upgraded, they have their add-on prices if you want to put have the builder put that ceiling fan in. So it's all you can always save a little money just by going, let's keep with a builder grade light. I forgot to turn the lights on in here. And uh, go put my own fans in. And if you're not handy, there's lots of handy people around. They'll be happy to come put ceiling fans in there. Oh, I didn't check. So of course, there's the open toilet. So this is a Jack and Jill bathroom. So let's go and cross into the other bedroom. Which is again, another really good sized bedroom. With a nice view of the beautiful house across the street and of my new motorcycle, my Tiger 900 GT Pro. I'm very excited to have that. I just picked it up about a week and a half ago, uh, maybe two weeks ago now, but man, we've been getting some good rains here lately, so I don't have much ch chance to ride it. But this has a good size closet. There we go, that's better lighting. And then the third bedroom upstairs, which is the biggest bedroom of them all up here. Let's check out their closet. Another good size closet. All right, let's head on downstairs and Oh, yeah, I did show you this. The bathroom upstairs that would have uh, access to this one because the other two bedrooms, well, they've got their own bathroom. All right, let's head downstairs and check out the master bedroom slash owner suite, whatever you want to call it nowadays. GoPro, stop recording. All right, before we go into the master bedroom, let's check out the backyard. I almost missed that because there is some topography and this house does slope a little bit from left to right. But uh, from what I heard, they're gonna be putting kind of a pool in there. But I uh, gave you a little sneak peek of what this side yard looks like from the front. That's ah, gonna be a big old yard. And it comes all the way around, starts sloping up. Now they just put the sod in. We had a really good rain yesterday. And so they're gonna have to come out and fix that sod there. But check out the size of this deck. We got the two fans, lots of good space out here. So uh, perfect for entertaining. Put some of those little lights up there. We'll walk around and show you just uh, how much yards left on the other side of this house, just because where this house is located. So lots of space at this house. 
So when my clients were looking, they wanted to make sure they had a space to put a pool in. And I think they're going to put, be putting a pool in this area and then kind of going down that way and kind of creating a little infinity pool situation. That'd be really super cool. They do have it pre-plumbed for gas. So if he wants to put a, an outdoor grill in there and have it cooking with natural gas, that's a nice plus. Now, pay attention to the roof of the house next to us. Those are the three-dimensional shingles. Definitely an upgraded shingle that you would get with a lesser builder. So, a uh, little pluses for getting into a, what I call the top tier production builder world. And these windows are gonna be, you can kinda see a little sheen on them. They have a coating on them to help keep the radiant heat out. And uh, David Weekly does build a very, very energy efficient home. Give you some one last look of this place. I didn't, I almost forgot. I haven't shown you the master bedroom just yet. So let's go do that real quick. Good sized bedroom. Oop, we do have more lights in there. There we go. Got the extra four can lighting in. But check out this bathroom. David Weekly calls this shower their super shower, which you can tell that's kind of super. It is a mud inset shower, so it is built into the foundation versus a pan. But a uh, nice dual vanities, framed mirrors, but a very nicely done closet. I mean, a uh, shower area. Love how this tile work came out. All right, let's check out this closet. We have a decent sized closet here. Nice shoe rack. So it depends on how uh, much clothes you have is how much big, big closet you need. But this does kind of show you how, well, the, ah, I can't talk anymore. This shows you the size of the closet for this plan. And I will put the plan name in the description because I can't think of it off the top of my head right now. All right, I hope you enjoyed the tour of this David Weekly home in Kinder Ranch in Bolverde, Texas. Like I said, my client's getting ready to close on it this Friday, so hope you guys can keep this video and uh, enjoy it. For those uh, other of you guys watching on YouTube, Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. And if you are considering moving to the area and looking for a real estate agent, I'll be happy to help and I'll be doing the same thing for you. All right, talk to you soon. Take care now. Bye.